Hi guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we're going to be learning how to build a 45 degrees galley. Now a galley is basically a uh, rowing ship. So it's mainly used for rowing. Uh, in this case, it's on my uh, kind of like Roman build. Uh, so I've got it around all the Roman stuff. So it's, uh, it's kind of just a little rowing ship thing that you'd have a load of people just sitting here and rowing. I haven't put any of the actual oars on because it, I don't think they look that good at an angle. Um, at least on, not on this scale, I just don't think it really fits. Um, but we have got the actual sail itself, and I'll be showing you two ways to make that sail. Uh, either done up like this, or also done um, kind of like down, so it's actually been floating away. But it's a nice and simple design, and it has got a rudder at the back as well, so you can actually steer it. Uh, the texture pack I'm using is Conquest, but I'll be doing the tutorial in default, so that's why I've got the extra blocks and the pots and the crates and all that kind of stuff is all in the texture pack. But it's pretty cool, and um, fits really nicely. As you can see here, I've got it on... Uh, a little port, and it's just leaving port as if it was moored up there, possibly. It's just going to come out and it's just going to go around that rock and off it goes into the distance where I can see it's sort of galley type friends. So anyway well guys, what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to my tutorial world and we're also going to jump into the default texture pack and we're going to get started on this one. Okay, so here we are on my tutorial world and here we are on, uh, oh, in default even, not on default. In default, so this is what the ship looks like outside of the water, you can see the kind of shape to it, and you can see what it looks like in default, still looks completely and utterly fine, as far as I think. Um, now, water levels, I actually put my water level all the way up to here. So what does that actually mean? It means that where your water is, let's grab a block of water. Wherever your water is, all you're going to do is you're just going to grab a couple blocks, you're going to go one, then two, that's going to be a starting block, and then we can use slabs on the side of that. Um, you could also do it there as well, it's really up to you. If I just get rid of this water so you can actually see. Um, you could also do the water level up to there. That might also work. I don't really know. Uh, it's kind of up to you. Just just decide. Um, what we're going to need anyway is just some spruce wood slabs. So I'm just going to get rid of that water bucket. And we're going to do this one at the angle. So this is going to be the, the way that's uh, pointing front ways. Go at this angle, okay? I'm just going to move over a little bit as well. So if you just place down any sort of normal block and grab a spruce wood slab. And what you're going to do is you're just going to have a one. I can get rid of that one there. We're then going to go back and we're going to have three blocks going in like this, or three slabs in a line. Okay? Then we're going to have five sets of ones. So you go one, two, three, four, five, like that. Okay, so that's what we get. And then you can have a two. So one, two. But this two goes inwards. Usually we do that. We're going inwards, okay? It's going to be the back of it. Looks very weird at the minute, but once we do the other side, it'll make much more sense, and I'm going to do this all with you guys. So add an extra two blocks in here. The reason we're doing that is because we go one, three, and you can see that we did one, three. It's just it's got a shared slab in that part. We're going to have our five sets of one, just like before. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to have a two, but it'll go inwards instead of going outwards. So what you don't want to have is this. It should be going inwards. That should finish it up. And that's what you'll get for your shape. So there we go. What you can do, guys, is you can actually pause the video right now. And just make sure that yours matches up to this at an angle. Obviously, as well, if you wanted it, instead of it being on that angle, you want to do it the other way around. Just uh, switch it around. You know, try and do it on the other side. All you can do now just to finish up this layer is just uh, fill this in with your slabs. How easy is that? There we go. Just like that. And that is it for layer number one. Okay, now we're on to layer number two. So we're going to expand our blocks a little bit. We've got a slab already, and that's spruce wood slab. It's so going to need spruce wood stairs, spruce wood wood planks, or spruce wood planks even. Spruce wood wood planks. And, uh, um, and also like a jungle slab or something like that, or jungle wood slab. It's absolutely fine whatever you use. You can always switch the materials out with this one, like at any time. Anyway, first thing we're going to do is right on this like front block, we're going to place down a full block, full wood plank like that. We're then going to just um, on the front part of it, just look at it as if you're looking down the diagonal part of it. Put a slab on the top of this one and a slab on top of that one. Then go onto the inside, put a stair right here in that gap, a stair right there in that gap. So you get a stair on those. Then what we're going to do on this side, on back on the outside, we're going to put an upside down stair, then a slab like that. Okay. A bit complicated, I know. We go an upside down stair and then a slab. And then we're going to do is diagonal off this block. We're going to have six uh, blocks: one, two, three, four, five, and six like that. Do the same on the other side: one, two, three, four, 
five and six like that. And we're just gonna have a stair in that place and a stair in that place. So those little stair pieces. It's just to make it feel a little bit bigger. If you put in full blocks, it just feels really, really chunky straight away. It doesn't look right, as you can see. So um, actually putting in a stair just cuts it back quite a lot. It's surprising, really. Uh, we're now going to switch over to our jungle wood slabs. We're just going to go one, two, three, four, and five like that. See on the other side. One, two, three, four, and five. The reason we're putting in those is it's to shape the actual hole and make it feel a little bit bowed on the inside. But it's also seating. Um, it was actually planned as seating, but then it ended up doing a dual purpose of you know, making it look like it's actually angled a little bit, which seems good. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go out and we're going to have a slab. Then we're going to have a stair. Then we're going to have a slab. Same on the other side, so we go across to here. Stair, uh, slab, stair, slab. And we'll come up to that uh, end point. Right on the end here, we just have a slab in the, in the gap. Like that. And I think on these ones, we have stairs going in there. Yeah, we do have stairs going in there. And that is it, what we get for layer number two. Doesn't look like much yet, but it will. Promise me, guys. Or I'll promise you that it will. Let's get on to the next one anyway. Okay, so we're on to layer number three. So we've got a couple extra blocks to add to our palette. We've got never brick slab or something like that. You can use another slab of any kind, really. Um, you're also going to need a trap door and you're also going to need dark oak wood. The actual log version of it. So get that all together. Go to the front where we've got this slab sticking out. Shove a block on top of it. Shove a block on top of it. Right in between then, shove in your never brick slab. It's like the little front piece. It's just like a little detail-y thing, I guess. But uh, behind that uh, spruce wood block, we're going to just put another block. And then we put another block. What we do is move back onto this one. Just put in a block. And put in a block. We're just going to grab our trapdoor and we're going to put the trapdoor onto this part here. Like that. Just a little detail piece. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go on top of these with just slabs. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, I think it is in total. So that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so then we're going to have a slab here as well, actually. So it's eight in total, sorry. Then we're going to have a, uh, a stair going in this way. Then what I think we've got, I'm going to have to have a look. I have to have a sneaky peek. So there we go, that. you've got just a block, and it's just blocks, that's easy. So there we go. And then what we do right here is we're going to go out this time. Have a block, and go in, go block, and then you get your block there as well. This does this kind of like weird straight back. All it is, I know it's difficult to, because it's at an angle, it's really difficult for me to get like a solid view. Um, and the way that you have to place blocks, but where you got your stair, just place a block right next to it and go back one. So it's like there. Then it should cover up this little hole here, and then go across like that. So here we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, really. And then you get a stair in there, which will just um, do that part. Right on this black back block, we're just going to put on a couple trapdoors like that. Um, I think we also put in a couple buttons from what I remember. Yeah, we do. We put on some wooden buttons going on the sides of those. So there we go. Completely forgot about the wooden buttons, but put them on there. And put them on there. And uh, I guess if you wanted to, you could put a couple on here, couldn't you? You can just put one or something. Let's just put one there to make it the little front part. This one's got like floaty buttons with cheaty stuff, whereas we can't do that, obviously. So put them on the side like that. But um, that's it for layer number three. Let's get on to the next bit, actually. Before we do that, let's put in this mast. Right, where we've got these jungle wood slabs, right in the middle of that, just put in two uh, dark oak wood um, logs. It's going to be part of the mast part of it. And we've got two different colours here, just to make it look a little more interesting. We've got the dark one here, then we've got a spruce going up. Right, I think it looks good anyway. But um, let's get on to the next bit, which will probably be these two flicks that we got on the front and also on the back. Okay, and now for the f like front flicky bit. I guess. Um, right here on top of this block, put a stair, put a stair there. We give a block in the middle of that part and put two trapdoors on just as a little bit of detail. Um, now what you're going to do is you are going to have, I can't remember, I think it's a slab. It looks like a slab on top. And you go up and have a slab as well. So a slab going up like that. And then we're just going to have a slab going in like that. Pretty sure that's it. Yep, that looks just about right. Or is that an upside down? That's an upside down stair. Knew something didn't look quite right. So we've got an upside down stair in this piece here. So take out that one, put in the upside down stair. There we go. And that actually now looks right. Um, there we go. Sorry, it's just so confusing, these. It's all on an angle. That's the best way you can actually get it to curve back and actually look all right at an angle. Because of 
but it has to be like super thick to actually do that. It's a bit annoying. Um, so anyway, the back piece that we've got here, uh, what we're going to do is going to have a stair going this way. So there you go, stair going that way. Have an upside down stair that way, upside down stair that way. And what I think we've got is a stair going inwards like this. And I am going to have to have a look. I'm pretty sure it's just a slab. Yeah, it's just a slab going over the top. That's fine. So there we go. And then you get a slab going over the top. So it doesn't come over as much. There's like two different types. You've got this one which is really curved in quite a bit. And then you've got this one which is a bit more standy uppy. Um, I think uh, is the right word. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to shove in this like slab rudder type system. Um, it's a bit annoying really. But uh, it's fine. So right up here on this top part of the slab we're going to put in jungle wood. It's basically the idea is that it gets passed through this hole. I know it's quite small but that's what we do. And you're also going to need a fence gate and just build up a fence gate up to there. That's where your rudder's going to be. Then from here, what we're going to do is just on this part, part here, not a trapdoor, just on this part here, we have a, a um, chunk of wood, and then do one underneath it as well. Then what we're going to do, I don't know which way I put the stair. Put the stair that way, did I? Okay. I don't think it really matters to be honest, but we've also put a stair in there, then went down a slab like that. The reason I had to use the stair is just because the angle-wise, uh, I wanted to get in the water quite quickly without it being this gigantic rudder, so that's what we went for. Um, might as well get onto this part. We're just going to need some spruce wood. We'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We need some cobblestone wall and fence. Let's just build on top of that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then two cobblestone wall and then two fence. Uh, if you don't like the cobblestone wall, you can just go for all fence. Or what you can also do is you can just use colouring type stuff with your never brick. You can actually switch those out. Or if you're in 1.8, you can use all the other stuff. We'll just use those two for now. Um, yeah, that works. Trap door around the sides. A simple little detail. Now, I haven't actually even had a look at this yet, so... <laughs> this will be quite interesting, but we just go out by four with diagonals. So we go down uh, one block. So we've got this one, one block here, and we go diagonal off that. So you go one, two, three, three, and four. And that's on the top part, so you can actually place a block underneath it. So just remember that. Okay, so one, two, three, and four, like that. Nice and easy. And then what we'll do is we'll put on this glass stuff first, I think. Yeah, I think it's going to be a better idea. So go just diagonals, and then a two. That's nice and easy. So right off here, you just go diagonal, go one there, and you go down and diagonal, down and diagonal, down and diagonal, down and diagonal, and then this last one here is where we get a two. And I'm just kind of connecting there. I have got connected textures, which is why my border is changing before anyone wanders, uh, which is from via Optifine, which is quite useful to make stuff look cool. I've also got a cold. Anyway, we'll put, put that going down there as well. That's exactly the same. So you just go diagonal from this one, from this one. We'll get there in a second. <laughs> diagonal one down. Like that. Diagonal one down. And again. And again. And uh, sorry for the blinding light. That's literally in the angle on it. And then you just go down two for the last bit to just, just to connect it in. Okay, now you're going to need white wool. You're going to need some sort of colour. Um, I'm going to go for red. That's a pretty common colour. I went for purple on this one. And also some quartz slabs. And all we're going to do here is we're just going to go down by one for this part. And then we're going to go down with two red. Let's go down for two red there. And then down with two white. And then one purple. And then we're going to go down with one white. Let's have a look here. I'm trying to copy what's going on here, really. Two... This one with one behind it as well. We can add that in a bit. Yes, we get number two here. So we get two red there, two white there. Uh, no, we don't. Sorry. Middle part. Cut those up. Uh, we get two, two, and then one. That's fine. So two red, one, two, then two white, one, two, and then one red on the end. With that, grab your slabs. And what we're going to do with these slabs? I swear, there's never a video where it doesn't rain. Um, I'm going to put a slab there, and a slab there. And with this one right here, we're going to go one block back. And we're also going to have a slab. That did not work. One block back there. Just behind it. And we're going to have a slab on that one, just to make it look like it's drooping. 
And I'm also going to put in a block behind this one. We have that drooping as well. Like that. So that's how we get the kind of droopy effect. Um, the idea being, uh, this one I think is done maybe a little bit differently. Yeah, it's got an extra block in here, for example. Uh, same with these two. It's actually got an extra block. Possibly. Um, yeah, it does. So it has an extra block, for example, here. There you go. So put an extra block in there. The idea being, anyway, is that you've tied it up. You've actually tied a knot uh, kind of around the middle. And there's probably a knot around the end. And, and you kind of get that effect where it kind of droops a little bit. Uh, it's exaggerated, obviously. In, in Minecraft, you have to exaggerate it. For example, they wouldn't do like two meters because one block is one meter. So they would not do two meters going down. But at the same time, yeah, they get that. Anyway, if we just start from scratch, okay, we're just going to keep those colors where they are. We're just going to do a full sail. So I'll show you how you do it. But you just come forwards by one. Just go one, two, three, probably. And then go back in to where its original position was. Okay, like that. And then we're just going to go diagonal off those. Like that, and go behind. Next one. you notice that the colours don't quite work yet. And they won't until we're done. Um, two, three, and then one there. Uh, oops, one there. And one there. I think that might be too far. <laughs> it's a little bit far over. Okay. Now to me, this ship actually looks like it's going... The, the, the wind is actually blowing it that way, weirdly. So we need to figure out that. So how we do, how do we do that? We have to kind of like push it out a little bit. We can actually switch the direction quite easily like that. To be honest, that already looks like it is. But we want to make it a little bit more, so they like add in blocks like this around it. We can also take away blocks as well. Like that. And we can also add ones up here and move them over to there. It starts to really block it up. That's the thing. Now that one I just realised I didn't do right. Um, and try to keep with the lines as well. So this line would actually, or should be, going across to here. And then this one would be going across to there. Like that. And then this one would go over to here, possibly. Depends. Now that one would not be red, for example. So you have to be really, really careful <laughs> of what you're actually doing. And yes, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, either. Because you should never know what you're doing. Right, okay, I'm going to push that one over as well. Realistically, that might actually be pushed over to there, for example. Because we're going to then we can push that one out. Now we can also do something here where we've got white or red over that one. Point there. That doesn't look so good. Let's do it with these ones. Let's do it with a couple slabs. Let's get some like high points with the slabs. As well as this bit here. You start to really use them. This is of course is the not exact tutorial part of it. You don't want to do that, for example. You want to keep keep them quite open. That one, for example, looks a little bit too much, I think. We could move that one forwards and let's put one behind. So there we go, we get that. That does look too square. That one behind does work. So there we go, that's kind of like what you can do. You, you kind of have to really mess around with it, to be honest. It's difficult to do them on angle. I've done one before which has got an uh, angled sail. Uh, it's always difficult. Right, so that one needs to be red. That's where it's easier to tell. Um, that one just needs to be red, maybe. It's that edge, so maybe... Do that. So it's already kind of closed up anyway. I can also do that, I have that on a block, do that instead. Ooh, that looks a little bit better. So yeah, just keep on working at it. And just finally get there. There you go, that looks okay. It's not too bad, I still don't like this part here, but that's fine. I have to like all of it. Just do something like that, or like that. Okay, yeah, that looks okay. Um, but yeah, guys, have a, f like, a mess around with it is what I'm trying to say. I've tried to just keep on shaping it, and you'll come up with something. But hopefully you've enjoyed the tutorial anyway. Um, if you did, comment, like, subscribe. Make sure that you do credit me for my design. Just have a sign saying, designed by Lord Dacker. That really helps me out, because the more people that see my stuff, and are like and check me out and stuff, is the more, well, the more that these tutorials I do for you guys. Simple as. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.